distractions, and it, it happens way too much in the NBA. Yep. Um, here's something very interesting. A tournament that the league is proposing a for 21-22 season, just to check this out, a 78 regular season game uh, season where per person they get $1 million to play, um, seven to eight playoff seeds. Is this something that you would be interested in if you were playing in this day and age? Um, look, anything that could give me an extra million, <laughs> I'd probably be down it's with it. It's all about the money. <laughs> money changes everything. I'd probably be down with it. But, you know, I, look, I, I love the fact that you're going to have a play-in tournament for seven and eight. I think that spices things up a little bit um, down towards the end of the season. Reseeding the final four teams uh, is something that I think they needed to do for a while now when the balance of power hangs, you know, in one conference versus the other conference. Um, the in-season tournament is a really interesting thing. And when they first proposed it, uh, we were on air saying, look, if if they do, they really have to incentivize this. And a million dollars was kind of the number we were at. That's going to speak to, you know, guys making minimum for sure. Uh, but even the guys and the stars making 20 and 30 million, it's another million dollars. The guys will come out and play for that. Uh, so I like it. But what I like the most of all is the NBA's continuing, uh, their, their continued ability to kind of see what's going on and try to be ahead of the curve with it, right? Realize that maybe the product gets a little stale and people want something a little different and they're not afraid to kind of push the envelope in terms of change and see if they can kind of make a, be a better product uh, for their fans to consume. Now, when we're, we're in an era of load management, I mean, you just talked about those big time guys making these 200 million, 150 and just a million, I get it, it's more money, but how do you really convince them, even if they are on, you know, the seven or eight teams, uh, to really get involved in this as opposed to maybe you know, taking a day off, low yeah. management resting. Yeah, well, look, I mean, clearly the million's not going to mean the same to them as it would to a minimum player, but right. a million speaks. It, it does. It speaks. I mean, look, you can Those pass that. Speaks. You can hand that million on to a family <laughs> member if you want to. But, you know, all jokes aside, I, I thought um, when they first kind of started talking about this that a cup scenario, and that's kind of what this turns into, a la, you know, your European soccer models and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's going to take a little time for people to put stock in that and really want to win it. Is, is, are guys going to feel like they need to win it right now? Probably not. I mean, you know, you, you get that a generation, you know, removed and, and guys have seen it and grown up watching cup play and then that next generation of kids come in and they put some stock in the cup. And so I think it's going to take some time to build that because uh, guys who have played under the old 82, you know, game rule and then you're just playing, playing it out until the playoffs, they're not going to buy in right away. But money helps. All right. Money talks. That's what they always say. So we'll see what happens. Rajar Bell breaking it down for us. Everything NBA. But looking towards tonight's slate, Raptors at the Pacers. Should be an interesting one. The Jazz at the Heat. Can Jimmy Buckets and the team keep it rolling? Then the Nuggets at the Suns. Rockets at the Kings. Can the Bears get another 40-point game? Is that possible? Then New Orleans at Trailblazers. That should be interesting to see how the Blazers fare against a low Pelicans team.